City's FA Youth Cup squad brushed aside a stern Leeds United at Elland Road to set up an away tie at either Wigan Athletic or Derby County. With the teams trying to find their feet on what was a chilly Yorkshire evening, both sides had early sighters. Cavario Dilverson had his shot spilled in the 12th minute before Leeds's Tom Pearce saw his effort float over Grimshaw's bar. However, just three minutes later, City took the lead through their in-form frontman, Lucas Nementia. The striker had already netted against Portsmouth in round three, and he got on the end of a fantastic Aaron Nemain cross to put the Blues one up. The next passage in play nearly saw the host draw level. Tyler Bell was unlucky in seeing his shot rebound off the City crossbar. That slice of luck for the Blues would be priceless as eight minutes before the break, Wilcox's side doubled their advantage. Six foot five, Tosin Adarabayo rising highest to head home Will Patching's corner. Leeds' hopes of staging a comeback were more or less over on 55 minutes, and it was a case of double dutch. Dilverson fed Congolo, who breezed into the area before slotting past the helpless Richardson. A fourth was quickly added. Nementia was too strong for Leeds captain Mike Taylor to go through and finish nicely for his second of the night. That might have been Nementia's last involvement, making way for Islake Buckley, but it wasn't City's as a fifth would be added on 69 minutes. Congolo with possibly the goal of the game, neatly volleying home into the far corner. All credit to Leeds, though, they didn't give up and found two consolation goals to make the score a little more respectable. Eric Sarmiento unfortunately put past his own goalkeeper a minute later and the Whites added a second, two minutes from time. Clark O'Dwyer was brought down in the area and Lewis Knight dispatched the resulting spot kick. Final score from Elland Road, Leeds 2, City 5.